Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I've got light, yay. I'm so excited about this. I might actually be able to see my own videos. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. I have a review today of The Wicked Girls by Alex Marwood. Um, I sort of dreaded reading this book because I had seen only bad things. And that didn't turn out like that for me. So I'm excited to give you another point of view. Uh, this book is a thriller, for sure a thriller. Um, people call it slow burn. People complain that um, too many points of view, that it hops all over the place, that there was no real character development with the two main characters. I mostly disagree. A couple things I do, I do see what they're saying and I agree. But yes, let's talk The Wicked Girls. Okay, so this book... Um, Gosh, it came out a while ago. I'm so behind in my reads. If you're looking for new reads, I don't know if this is the channel for you. But if you're looking for different ideas, different sorts of books, this might be your place. Either way, this is a book about two girls who meet and have one day together. During that day, a child is killed. Um, and these two girls are responsible for that death. So they go off to juvenile detention. I mean, they're child killers, right? So, I mean, they are, like, considered monsters by the public. Um, and they go off to juvenile detention and all of that. Later, because they were kids when this happened, like, 9, 10, 12 years old kind of thing. Later, they are released. And they go off into the world as grown adults. Um, with a condition on their release that they are not to ever connect again. They can't see each other again. So they're living their best life. Um, Belle and Jade are their names as children, but they change their names, obviously, because, you know, you, you're infamous, right? So their names are changed as adults um, to Amber and Christy. And Christy is working as a journalist, and Amber works at a place called Funland, which is an amusement park um, at a seaside sort of rural town called Whitcomb. Anyway, these two characters who no one knows, absolutely no one in their family knows that they were the child, you know, killers back in the day that everyone hated because obviously it's, you know, 20 something years later. They're in their late 20s, maybe early 30s. Anyway, I love the premise for the book. Um, these two are going to meet up again and have to figure out what to do with that. You know, they're not allowed to meet. But what happens is that a bunch of killings start happening in this small town where Amber lives and works at the amusement park sort of as the uh, like heads, head maintenance person. You know, they've rebuilt their lives the best they can. They're, Christy's got kids and, and is happily, well, mostly happily married to a guy named Jim and Amber's living with a common law boyfriend, um, Vic. Anyway, people say there were no twists. Um, I disagree. I had no idea that the killer was among us, um, this new crop of, of dead women and girls. In the meantime, we can enter side characters with their own issues, but all of these people tangled together. Now, I will say, I've had, I've heard criticism that it's too many points of view, and I can, I don't think that it's too many points of view. I think that they were not denoted well enough. I think each chapter or even some chapters were more than one point of view should have said the name of the character whose point of view that Alex was writing from but honestly that's just like a formatting thing that for me as a reader would have helped me it's not that I couldn't keep up I could and I am really not a great reader I'm not particularly fast um, I can be if I'm super into a book but with thrillers I'm pretty slow because I really am trying to figure out what the twist is way before we get there um, because I'm always reading as an author. So for me, I felt like the points of view were fine. I, I was fine with that. I did feel like the author actually would have been happier writing this book in first person. With all those same points of view. But it's written in third person present, which I think is the most challenging way to write. When it's done well, it's incredible. When it's not done well, oh god, it's a mess. And I think that's what a lot of these reviews are saying is it was a mess. I didn't think it was a mess. I thought it was a great book. It kept me entertained. 
<coughs> excuse me, I would go three and a half to four stars on this, but I still would recommend it. I think the premise and the plot are fantastic. The writing is amazing. She's very atmospheric, and I think that gets left out too. I mean, you can feel and see Funland. I've written carnival books, and I can tell you it's hard to capture the atmosphere of a circus or amusement type of place because you have so much. You're not just describing like, you know, this room and then this town. You're describing the innards of, you know, the horror house of wax, the innards of the the old rusty roller coaster. Like you're there's so many different locations in one amusement park that you need to describe well in order to really give readers a taste of that and i got that taste i mean they're very early in um amber and a guy uh moses who's like the guy that cleans up all the horrible messes at the park is talking about like sticky ketchup um left all over the place and how gross people can be when they leave their junk all over a place and how these guys feel like they spend their life cleaning up after other people's fun which you know they're not wrong right but I could see that ketchup. I could smell the greasy food, you know? And um, I don't know, I, I just, I thought that the writing was amazing. I will read this author. Like I will absolutely one click her. Um, it's a debut. And I'm hoping that in future books that maybe because of the feedback with the Wicked Girls, that Alex, even if she writes the same exact way, just puts, you know, Amber and then writes that part of the book. I think that right there would clear up every issue I had with it. I also would love to see her write in first person because I honestly think that's probably where her voice is. Um, when I read her bio, Alex is actually a really well, like, well-known journalist somewhere in England. Um, it doesn't say who. I'd love to know. Probably you could find that easy. But yeah, I was cool with this book. Um, I'm glad I read it. And yeah, no complaints here. I really... I would recommend it. I love any kind of books. I mean, this is my bias. I love any kind of books that have to do with carnivals, uh, amusement parks. I like the memories. I like the kind of eclectic group of characters you can often get in these places. I just thought it was a fun read. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go four stars. So there you go. That's my review of The Wicked Girls. I hope you guys are doing great. Um... If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like, a thumbs up, comment, anything. Just SOS me. It helps me with like feeling like people are still even watching. Um, and I would appreciate it a lot. I am off to go work on one of my own books, which is not set in an amusement park. It's actually set in a college. And this kid thinks he's a wolf. So, you know, that's fun. Anyway, have a great day, guys. And until next time... Peace, love, books and crazy.